Dear friend, the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you. About 4,000 years ago, God appeared to a man and talked to him. The man's name was Abraham, and God had a direct order to him. This is the way Moses wrote it down in Genesis, the 12th chapter. The Lord God said to Abraham, Leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whosoever curses you I will curse. And all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. Imagine that. Abraham picked up and went. 4,000 years later, we are still talking about Abraham, whose name God changed from great father into father of many nations, Abraham to Abraham. And 4,000 years later, we talked about him because his faith was the epitome of faith. He just believed God. Imagine to pick up and go without knowing where you were going. God said, I will show you. So Abraham had nothing to go on except his faith. And he knew nothing about the destination except that God would walk with him through every day of the journey. Now, isn't that where you and I find ourselves at the end of yet a new year of grace, 2022, which just began a few days ago? But like Abraham, we have nothing to worry about. We don't know anything about 2022. It is a closed book to us, but not to God. And God promises to be with us. Therefore, let us walk with confidence and joy in our hearts, serving one another in love and proclaiming all the great things that God has done for us, especially that He sent His Son Jesus to take away the sin of the world. And so, let us be a blessing to the world by proclaiming the good news. There is a hymn that joyfully reminds us of this truth that the Lord is with us. It goes like this. With the Lord begin your task. Jesus will direct it. For his aid and counsel ask. Jesus will perfect it. Every morn with Jesus rise, and when day is ended, in his name then close your eyes, be to him commended. Let each day begin with prayer, praise and adoration. On the Lord cast every care. He is your salvation. Morning, evening, and at night, Jesus will be near you, save you from the tempter's might. With His presence, cheer you. With your Savior at your side, foes need not alarm you. In his promises confide, and no ill can harm you. All your trust and hope repose in the mighty Master, who in wisdom truly knows how to stem disaster. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. So long. <laughs>